Hi everyone, my name is Cindy and welcome. I'm so happy you were able to join us tonight. Um, I'm coming to you from the Wood and Wick Co. Um, and we are partnering with Michaels to give you the best candle making class that you've ever been in. I'm assuming that most people today are first time candle makers or you haven't yet ventured into candle making. And um, it is super fun and I'm excited to show you the way. Um, I'm coming to you actually from Tennessee. I um, have two children. I have five golden retrievers and um, I love making candles. I love having candles around. Um, I have been a self-proclaimed candle holic well before ever working here. Um, so this is very exciting that I get to teach candle making. So um, I hope everyone will enjoy today. Um, I assume some people have the kids in front of them while others may not, and that's totally okay. Um, want to let you know that the Wooden Wick is very proud of that. Most of our ingredients, if not all, are sustainable and natural. So we won't be, we'll, we'll be focusing on it being eco-friendly, not hurting the environment, um, and reusable. And I'll even go over some of the ways we can reuse items that are already in the kit after you've already made your candle. So I love doing that. I think it's kind of an extra bonus um, that you get to reuse it a few times after. Um, so I love that. Um, so today we are gonna start with the candle kit. We are doing Love Strut and Sultry Rose today. And um, it's very holiday-y um, as well. It has some other um, interesting notes that we'll talk about further um, when we get into it more. So if everyone would just unpack their kit with me, um, you'll see that it comes in this adorable sheet um, reusable box. Um, I love it. Um, like I said, it is just beautiful. And it comes with actual instructions. So if you pick up the kit and you um, don't want to watch the video again, quick, easy instructions for you right here in the box. Um, and then we have the wood fibers, which are also biodegradable and recyclable. Again, not hurting the environment at all. And then we take out the beautiful vessel. And the first one I'll start with today, and hopefully you're following along with me. Um, so we have the awesome, I love this so much, um, the matte black. Um, this to me just is, speaks like New Year's Eve, even Christmas for me. I like black and white and red and silver and gold um, for my Christmas colors. What do you guys like for your Christmas colors? There's there's so many different ways. You don't have to be traditional. You know, in today's world, you can be anything you want. You can make it any color tree and any color decorations, which I love. Um, so I love black actually. Um, so I think it's really sleek and fine. So um, then it comes with this nice black wood um, lid as well, which we won't be putting on until after um, the candle is all cured and ready to light if you wanted to, um, which is not going to be for 72 hours. It needs time um, to cure, and we'll go over that as we make the candle. So we have the matte black vessel right here, part of your kit, and then we will pick up the wax, clearly labeled, um, so we won't forget that it's wax. Um, our wax is super awesome. Um, it has a blend of three different um, waxes in there. So you have a blend of coconut, palm, and soy wax, which is super awesome. And it's already like the right amount. It's already pre-measured. And all you do is you take off the lid because you don't want any fire hazards when you put it in the microwave later. So I just set the lid down and use it as a um, little place to put the stirrer later. So we have our beautiful nature's wax, um, wax, which is sustainable, natural, 100%, um, you know, eco-friendly and vegan. So can't go wrong with this. Um, so we got our wax. And what I love about 
making candles too, is that you can use it for yourself or you can re-gift them to other people. And like, you always can give someone a gift, but when you personally make it, I feel like it's more special. Um, so that's what I like to do. Um, but again, getting any gift, I'm more than happy to get. Um, but it does feel like when someone gives me a gift, um, and they made it, it's just a tiny bit more special. Like my mom recently made me a blanket for the first time, one of those chunky ones. And just the fact that she made it for me just made it so, you know, something I could have forever. I just love that. But so um, in the um, kit, you're gonna have some components. You're gonna have the bamboo stir. Okay, we'll put that out front. I'm going to actually close up this beautiful kit and take it off the table so it's not in my way. Okay. For now. Okay. And we're going to have the wood wick. Everybody should have a wood wick. And I'm assuming that there's people on this call because I can't see the chat, but it is monitored by Melissa and Bailey, who also work with me at the Wood and Wick Co. Um, so feel free to ask questions and they'll be answered. But not everyone probably knows what a Wood and Wick is. Um, most people probably are used to cotton. Um, our wick is patented. Um, it is certified by the FSC. So it is made in the United States under mills um, that are certified so that it is protecting the environment. We're gonna be, we continually add trees to it. They protect over the wildlife. So they make sure that there's gonna be trees and animals um, for future generations to come. So it's the, you know, for the environment, it's the, uh, it's the eco-conscious way to make a candle is to use a wood wick because it is um, natural and sustainable. So that's what makes the wood wick um, unique for the environment. But as far as an aesthetic and enjoyment, that's where off the hook, you cannot be a wooden wick. If you have never had that experience of a crackling fireplace on your table, you will love it. Um, especially this time of year, um, when you don't maybe want to put the fireplace on yet or whatever, and you just put it, um, this is what your finished product is going to look like. And it's literally like a mini fireplace on your table. It'll crackle, it'll like, the, the, um, the fire will like dance on top of the wick. It's just super cool to watch. And then you'll get this crackling. Um, it's just mesmerizing. It's like white noise. It's like a mini fireplace. I cannot tell you enough. Um, how amazing the wood wick, the ambiance of it. And I love the way it looks in a candle over a cotton string, personally for me. Um, and again, I love all candles, but this is just highlighting um, for you about the wood wick. Um, in addition, we all care about why do we buy a candle? Because we want it to smell up a room. Well, the wood wick has been tested and is 35% faster at emitting and diffusing the fragrance um, into the room. So you get a faster um, ambiance as well. Um, so overall, um, this is what a wood wick should look like and we'll be using that today. Um, then we have our fragrance. Ugh, this one blows my mind. Um, the one I'm using with the this kit, is, this is the Love Struck kit and it comes with the dark rose and labdanum um, scent. When I say sexy, I'm talking off the chain sexy, okay? This is like um, New Year's Eve, like a man wearing like amazing cologne and like musky. It is just, this scent is my favorite. It never gets old either. I have to smell it. Oh, you guys, seriously, I, trust me on this one. Trust me. Okay, this is heaven. Um, okay, next we have the National Candle Association sticker and you're like, who cares, Cindy? You care, trust me, you will care. Why? Because it has two very important things that I didn't know before I started making candles. One is that you have to trim the wick between burns. So what does that mean? Trim like choo, 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 choo. Um, like, it get, you know how the, the white string either gets black on the top and it gets like a big black ball and that's carbon buildup. 
And then when you go to relight it, it sparks and you like jump and then you're afraid there's gonna be a fire in the house. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, so if you trim your wood wick or your cotton wick, doesn't matter about, you know, just a little bit to get that black off. You can even, if you don't have trimmers and no big deal, you can use your fingers, just pinch it off as long as it's cool, um, which it would be the next day. Or you can use a um, nail clipper. I've seen that done too. So that's important to do. Secondly, um, you want to make sure that you don't burn your candles for more than four hours at a time. I didn't know that. My daughter and I, we're like, like I told you, candleholics have a closet full. It's really, really a problem, probably need some therapy, but um, you have to only use it for four hours. I didn't know that. And I would burn candles for like eight or 10 hours. I would put multiple ones, like five out at once um, before I started working here and realizing all oh, how the safety and things that go into it. So it really does matter. And then common sense is don't have a fan over it. Don't have pets and small children. That can really cause fire. I've talked to a lot of people actually that a pet has jumped up on the table, um, tipped over the candle causing a fire. So you just wanna be really careful with your pets. I say that because I am the biggest pet owner you will ever meet. Um, love them so much. So we want to protect them and your home as well. So we're going to peel off the National Candle Association um, rules and put that on the bottom of the vessel, just like that. Okay, simple. Um, then we're going to continue and take out the wick clip. It's this little metal clip. And then this little adhesive sticker. Okay, those are the those are the components that you will get in a kit. And Michaels has them already for you. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wood wick, okay, and put it in one hand and take the metal clip in the other. And this is really what people would consider the hardest part about making candles is getting your wick right. And it's super easy with the kit because Wood wicks are easy to put in the wick, whereas when you use like cotton string, it's much more complicated. So this makes it super easy. You take the wick in one hand, you take the clip in the other, and you just, I do a little dance. I know I'm crazy, but I like to like dance. Like just, it helps me shimmy it in and give it a little pressure. So every time I do it, it's like a tradition. So sorry, I gotta do my little dance. Okay, and that's it. Now, you don't have to dance, but it's a whole lot more fun if you do. Um, so it should look like this, vertical, okay? And that's it, boom, done, with. Okay, then you take your sticker, circle adhesive sticker, super easy, and you peel it off one side and you put it on the bottom of the metal clip and then peel off the little tab, boom, ta-da. Okay, now the second hardest part of candle making um, is finding the middle. I know it looks like it would be simple, but actually it does take a little bit of skill, but it doesn't really matter like tonight if you get it right or not. It takes a lot of time to actually uh, get it perfect. But for our use, we're just gonna go, boop, looks like the middle, bam, it's the middle. Okay, so I'm doing my best to eyeball the middle, boom. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have had candles like this if I had a glass of wine. Um, so now I'm not having any wine, so it's just purely in the middle. All right, just like that. All right, perfect. Hopefully everyone can see my gorgeous candle. Okay, the next step is going to be putting the shredded wax into the microwave. It takes three minutes in my microwave. It could take three minutes, 15 seconds in your microwave. It could be a little longer, a little less. For, for, for these purposes right now, we're gonna start with three minutes. Again, make sure your lid is off for safety reasons. Okay, and we're gonna pop it in, put it on three minutes. And while it is melting, I'd love to talk to you about fragrances. So fragrances are super cool. Um, they, our fragrances are very sophisticated and complex. Um, they have a top, middle, and a base note. Um, some interesting fact is that when you go to 
you know, whatever store you're buying your candles from and you're smelling um, the candle and you're thinking, oh, wow, this is amazing, right? You're smelling all the candles in the store. Well, what you're smelling is called the cold throw. And that cold throw is what candles are at solid room temperature. And you're like, okay, Cindy, who cares? Ha, that's the thing. It, you will care after I tell you this. Okay, so you're smelling it. You're like, yeah, let's buy this. Let's put five in the basket. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, great. The problem is that cold throw that you just smelled at the store, that once you light it, it's only going to be the smell you smell for 15 minutes. That's the top note. Okay, so your top note is going to be about 15 minutes. All manufacturers of candles know you're going to buy a candle based on that top note. So they're going to make sure that's super good. So you buy it. How many people have ever bought a candle, you spend $25 and you love it at first. You're like, oh my God, this is great. And then it's like, wait, I don't smell it anymore. Do you smell it? Nobody smells it. Exactly. Because the hot throw wasn't created properly. The fragrance, everything was not the way it should. The candle was not made um, in a way where you would get the middle and the base notes to come out. So today I want to kind of show you how important it is to stir the wax properly with the right amount of fragrance um, so that once you do light the candle, you will get the top note, the middle note, also known as the heart note, and then the base note. So I would say the uh, middle part of the note is about two hours-ish of your candle, two to three, and then the rest of the life of your candle is going to come from your base notes. Um, so every fragrance should have those three, top, middle, and base. Um, and if a good candle maker knows how much, it's, a, it's like an art and a science, actually, to blend the right amount of fragrance with the right wax, with the right size wick, and at the right temperature, and then let it cure for the right amount of time. I'm telling you, this is not easy stuff. Um, some candle makers, it takes them a year to get the, it right. You'd be surprised. Next time you look at candles in the store, you're going to be like, really? It took a year for that? It does, because you want to make sure that they're all consistent and that every time you, you make a good candle, it's consistent. You buy it, you buy it, you buy it. It's all going to work the same. It's going to have the right fragrance. It's going to emit the best smell. Um, you're not going to have any issues with it. So, um, all right, I'm going to grab my wax that is melted at three minutes. Um, if you're doing it along with me, handy dandy pot holders, super hot. Um, I don't want you to get hurt. It's Friday night. We got to stay happy for the weekend. Very excited. I love it. Love weekends. Love December. Love holiday time. Love it all. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is I wanted to tell you another bit about the fragrance. Um, so all of our fragrances are toxin-free, free of phthalates, Prop 65, um, parabens. They are vegan. They are natural. It is completely sustainable. Even the packaging of it is, um, like I said, you cannot find a more eco-friendly fragrance. Why do you care? You care, trust me, because you don't want your animals in contact with a fragrance that has toxins in it. You don't want yourselves, your guests, your family. If you check your air conditioning unit, if you open it up, it could be black. That could be what your lungs look like. I mean, it goes on and on. You want to have the cleanest fragrance. With that said, you also need to pour it at the right time while it's a hot to get the hot throw, to get the right notes to come up later when you melt when you light your candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the entire contents in just like that. Now, I am going to set my timer of two minutes and I am going to stir. Now, when I am making candles by myself at home and I'm not talking to anyone, this would be a very zenful activity for me. I would just be like smelling it and like focusing on the stirring. And like right now the scent is just filling up my whole room here. It's amazing. Um, and I would just be focusing on stirring. The reason I tell you this is because there are studies that show that using your hands, whether it to be to stir wax, to make dinner, cooking, gardening, 
um, scrapbooking, any sort of craft. I do furniture, retouching up, things like that. Anytime you use your hands basically to create, it is a natural stress reliever. And there are studies to prove that. Um, it is absolutely true in my world. I've tested it out. When I am using my hands, I am completely focused and zoned in. And I know there's a lot of crafters watching right now and you're like going, uh-huh, uh-huh, you get me. I know you do. When you are just focusing on what you're doing, you're not thinking about what you have to cook for dinner or what the kids are doing or you know anything that's going on in the world. It's very relaxing. Um, and that's what I love about crafting. It's just that it gives you that time where you're just really zoned and focused. You're, you're not stressed. It's like just using your creativity just opens up totally different doors in your brain. Um, that also paired with the fact that the different scents, fragrances also create different moods. Um, I don't want to miss my time. Okay, we'll finish that in a second. So um, my timer is off two minutes. Now, it was super important that I made a solid, good two-minute stir. Why? What happens is, a little science background, I am a teacher by degree, so got to throw in a couple little science facts. So when you melt the wax, the molecules of the wax open up and they become porous. And what that does is then it attracts the fragrance molecules to attach to it. And then they need to join together and stick and like really like mingle hard. Um, you want them to form a tight bond. And that's what the stirring does. We need those that to happen in order to have that good hot throw we talked about. So I think I've mastered that. So I'm gonna put that here. Then I'm gonna take my pot holders and we're gonna pour it on the side of the vessel, not over the whip, okay? So we wanna just pour it right on the side. If you have a kit with me and you end up having like a little extra wax at the end, totally cool, wash it out with water, reuse the mason jar for a vase and other things we could talk about. But the main reason I'm telling you this is even if you have extra wax, don't cover the wick. It needs to stay out about a quarter of an inch, okay? So that's what we're looking at. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in the side of the vessel, just like this. And oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite scents. Not, I have a lot of favorite scents, but this is high up on my list. I am a fragrance freak. I'm not even afraid to deny that. Okay, I love, oh, heaven. Um, so perfect. I made the perfect candle tonight. And so I have to leave it here for 12 hours um, while it cures and you want, because you want those middle and base notes to really join together. And then you cannot light your candle for 72 hours, okay? Um, so you can move it after 12 hours, but you can't light it. Um, but when you do light it, everyone in the house is gonna be amazed. They're gonna be like, oh my God, what's that crackling? That's so cool. That's beautiful. Um, it is super awesome and I am excited about it. So um, let's talk about a couple of things. So um, holiday scents, um, this can be a beautiful, like I talked about this to me is a holiday scent. Um, we have, you know, a, a host of other obviously juniper, fir and balsam are typical uh, scents for Christmas, but you can use all sorts of scents like um, things that represent food this holiday, or um, even the outside nature, the snow, the pine, pine forest is a good one. Um, anything that brings the holiday in um, can be a holiday scent. Um, so there are so many delicious scents out there. The next candle that comes in this kit is um, cashmere and vanilla. And that is another very elegant, um, floral, a little bit of floral, but more of a kind of reminds me of like champagne toast with a little vanilla. It's kind of an elevated holiday experience to me. But again, everybody is a little different because when you smell something, how you smell something, how I smell something are completely different. Our noses are unique to us. So that's why some people love a scent. Some people don't like the same scent, right? Or you might smell something and it might remind you of something in your childhood or some past 
history event. That is a beautiful thing. I think about sense is that it can bring you back to memories, mostly good ones. Um, and it just makes you like so warm inside when you just happen to smell a scent that reminds you like, I sometimes smell things that remind me of my grandparents, like all the time, like just different scents in the house. It might be like a cooking scent for my grandmother and my, and my um, grandfather's cologne is like stuck in my nose. And um, it's just, I think scents really bring things back to you and back to life and more memorable. So scents are so powerful. They have the ability to, to completely transform a space. That's why when you, when you're at home and you light a candle, um, it just changes your mood. And I know that's true because again, there are studies, plus I can speak from experience. It's so calming and soothing that candles just completely transform a space, change your mood. Why do people even use candles, right? Let's think, hmm, feel free to write in the chat box. The ones I can come up with are, we use them for celebrations, decor, remembrance, um, just fragrance, right? Um, anyone else can mention what we use candles for? I mean, the whole world uses candles. And if you don't use candles and you don't like candles, you might be the first person I've ever met because everybody loves candles. I have never been disappointed by getting a candle as a gift. Have you? No. So candles are always a safe bet. But again, it really does matter what type of candle you buy, what wax, what fragrance, because those smells and if they're gonna last does make a difference depending on if the candle was made correctly. Um, so I hopefully showed you that tonight, the importance. Um, let's talk about other benefits of candles, right? Um, stress relief, how many people use it for self-care? Me, I'm sure there are other people on this call as well um, that use it for self-care. Like for me, like if I had a really stressful day and I just really need to just chill out, I will take a bath, I will have some wine and I will put candles all around it. And I just will sit there and just scorch like that for like an hour. And it's just amazing just the, the light in the light, the light that the candle emits, which is another benefit of candles, plus the scents are just, it just makes it so relaxing. Um, I find that to be the best self-care for myself. There are so many other ways you can use candles and so many other self-care tips. Highly want to push on you today the fact that you should do some form of self-care, um, whether it be with candles or without um, in our busy world today. I just think it's super important to, for us to fill ourselves up so we can then give out more. Um, so um, with that said, I can go into, we're going to make the second candle of the night. Let me see if there's time. And there is. It's just going to be a little repeat with a different fragrance. And I want to only carefully move this. I really shouldn't be even moving it at all, um, but it's going over here now. Okay. Um, thank you guys again for coming. Again, I'm just gonna repeat the steps. I probably will add in more details as it comes to mind. Um, if you wanna stay with me, that'd be great. If you don't, I really appreciate you coming today. Um, and like I said, the kits are available on Michael's. And the video will be up so you can follow along again um, if you forgot from tonight. So we're going to open up the next candle. All right. And this is beautiful as well. It's more of a, like a, a champagne colored aura. Again, perfect for me for the holidays. Um, um, I was just kind of trying to see the chat box because it looks like lots of fun stuff is going on um, that I can't read. Um, so if there's anyone, um, Melissa or Bailey, if there's any questions I need to address, um, feel free to let me know. Um, okay, so we're gonna take out the wax again. Another thing I wanna point out is if you don't have a microwave, you can still do this kit. You can use a double boiler 
um, which is just putting a pot and water on your stove. And then, so you have the pot, you fill it up with water, then you put another pot and then you put the wax in. And that would be a double boiler situation. You can even, I've seen people make this work, just put it straight into hot water on your stove. It takes about 15 minutes to boil, um, roughly. Um, depends on you know your temper your particular stove burner and stuff. I have also done classes where they use a like if you were going to do a class, you could put a chafing dish and put like the little hot sternos under it, and that takes like twenty minutes if you're doing a bunch of wax at one time. But that works as well. So because some people don't have microwaves, you still can absolutely still do it. Um, so we got the same wax as before, the beautiful nature's wax, 100% natural, sustainable, um, three different kinds. Love this. I have to say it. My last class, someone pointed out how to recycle this. Thank you. It is a wine coaster. Who knew? Now I have a black and a raw wood wine coaster. Who knew? This is awesome. I love it. So now I have two wine coasters, just got to get my wine. Um, and now I'm going to open up again. So the kit comes with two of everything, which is awesome because you want more than one. Trust me on that. You cannot have enough candles. Just don't ask my husband because he'll tell you you can't have enough candles, but you can't. Okay. So you have to well, trust me. All right, so again, we're going to put the handy dandy uh, National Candle Association on the bottom of the beautiful aura. I will say that you can um, recycle this afterwards. How? You can make another candle in it. You could use it as a like a toothbrush holder in a guest bathroom or something. You could, I have one by my kitchen sink and I put the little scrubby brush in and the Brillo pad. Um, I've also have another one on my desk that I use for pens, pencils, markers. Teacher in me loves to have that stuff available. Um, so yeah, you could use this for anything. You could put make flowers in it even. It's just beautiful. Um, these are extremely high quality vessels. Um, so that's that. Um, again, like I told you earlier, we're using the cashmere and vanilla. And trust me when I tell you this, this is amazing. It is sweet. You get the vanilla in there. And it also has a little bit of citrus scent to it, I would say. And then um, to me, it's like, it feels like champagne, like you're sitting on like a boat or something, you're having champagne. I don't know. It's just very classy. Um, I just love this. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, and it's very holiday -y as well. It's hard to put in words because again, a scent to me is gonna smell different than a scent to you. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so while we're doing that, I will pop in the wax again. Four, three minutes. Um, and we'll go and we'll dance. And we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll dance. Okay. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take our wick in one hand. I know you guys are experts now. We're gonna take our metal clip in the other and we're gonna gently rock, rock, rock it in, okay? Okay, sometimes I put on music and rock in, but today I just, I'm rocking without. All right, so it goes up vertical like that. Then you take your handy dandy circle sticker like that. And you peel off one part, you put the rest on the bottom, you peel it off, and then you eyeball again. Perfection. Awesome. Again, what's great about these kits is that it's already pre-measured. Everything has been pre-tested, pre-cut, pre-everything. So you don't have to guesswork. It's super easy to start making candles this way till you get, you know, it gets, it gives you the confidence to keep learning and learning more. Like I started with this and then I continued to, oh, you know what? I can add some um, embellishments on the top. 
um, because there's all sorts of enhancers and things you can add to them um, as you get more advanced into candle making. But um, but it's it's great way to start making candles just to see the process and what goes into it. Um, so highly recommend that. Um, and you can't go wrong. And you can you know it's fun to get a group of people together and do it all together. Um, so that's fun too. Okay. Um, next we are just waiting for the wax to come out. Um, and we can go over any questions that are in the chat box at this point. All right. The holidays I know are super stressful. Um, so busy. Every day is so busy. So take time to yourself, even just light a candle, do something for yourself this holiday season. It's so easy to just be running around at full speed and so tired and giving and giving and giving that you deplete yourself. So um, highly recommend you take a moment, sit back and have some Zen moments for yourself. Um, and candle making, even if you try it as a hobby, even if you do it just a couple times, like I said, it is very um, stress relieving. I am completely chilled out when I'm making a candle. It just really is a beautiful experience, whether whether you do it alone, because sometimes you do it alone, and or if you do it in, in a group, it's fun. Um, but the, and then you get the what's great about it too is you have this satisfaction at the end, which you get because you have this amazing candle to share with other people. So it's like also self satisfying. Um, okay, so pulling out the wax. Right. Using the pot holders. Right. We're going to pour the whole contents. I love this. So awesome. Yay. I know I get excited. Sorry. I mean, this never gets old to me. Um, okay. So, and then you do the two minute stir. Again, remember, we're getting a really, really, really solid stir so that we have the best hot throw. What is a hot throw? Hot throw is when you light the candle. The, that's called the hot throw and, and everything that emits into the room. What is a cold throw? Solid state, solid state candle. Um, the wax is already just dry and ready to go. Um, so those are important for knowing um, how your candle is gonna turn out, is to know those terms. And they're fun to throw out when you're like shopping with your friends. You're like, oh yeah, I don't really like that cold throw. Sounds really cool. Um, so I am stirring, I am loving the smell and aroma that is coming from it. It is to die for. I'm super excited. And again, you want to make sure that you get an extremely solid stir because you want those molecules to really join together and fall in love so that you're, when you light your candle, you're going to see those middle, you're going to smell those middle and those base notes. And this candle, it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. All right, we're almost at the two minutes. You can go to three minutes if you wanted to, but two minutes is totally sufficient and tested. So you'll be fine on that. And then remember, you can't light your candle for 72 hours. Now, real candle makers like who sell candles, they actually let their candles cure for two weeks or longer. Um, and don't move them. And they do that because they wanna make sure that they get all those notes to really come together. And the sitting and the curing is what does it. But here we'll be okay with 72 hours. But I thought that was interesting that um, other candle makers will not move their candles, um, let alone sell them for after two weeks minimum. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Okay, pass the time to you. Um, all right, now I'm going to pour it on the edge, not going over the wick. Don't want to ruin the candle. Okay, 
And I'm gonna leave a quarter of an inch of the wig out. And it's perfect. Ta-da! We made another candle. Um, so I hope everybody had a blast with me today. Thank you guys for spending the time coming. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back next month with more fun events. Thank you. Thank you to Michaels. Bye. Have a great weekend.